Torah TV. The world is thinking. Yeah, it's it, it's interesting. In my mind, Clunkers was really designed to do three different things. Um, the one was to stimulate auto sales that would stimulate manufacturing and keep people employed. And it definitely did that. Um, we increased our production by about 100,000 vehicles. We sold about 130,000 vehicles through this. Same thing happened with General Motors, happened with Ford, happened with Honda and others. So it did help to stimulate the economy. Um, the other thing that it did was it did help get more inefficient fuel vehicles off the road. And I can only speak to Toyota's numbers because I don't have the rest of the industry. But in our case, we sold about 130,000 vehicles. Uh, if you look at the top 10 vehicles industry-wide that were purchased, they were all fuel-efficient vehicles. Corolla was number one. I think Camry was number three. Prius was top five. RAV4, which is a small SUV, was in there. And if you look at the vehicles that were turned in, they were all, for the most part, domestic SUVs that were turned in. Our experience of our 130,000 vehicles, if you look at the vehicle turned in versus the vehicle purchased, in one year, those customers will save 31 million gallons of gasoline. And at $3 a gallon, that's almost $100 million that customers won't have to pay for gasoline, but can put into other parts of the economy. So I think it was very effective there. And in the third piece that a lot of people missed, I think, is the average amount of rebate that the federal government paid uh, was about $4,200. If you look at registration fees, sales tax, you could take it even further and look at income tax paid by the sales associate on commissions or dealerships. But in California, as an example, the average vehicle probably generated about $3,000 worth of tax revenue for state and local municipalities. So to a great degree, what this program did, it allowed the federal government to transfer some of that tax revenue from the federal government to the states that desperately needed it. And, and I think that's kind of hidden in everything that took place and really has been a big boost uh, to local governments because the, the number one generator of tax revenue in local communities are car dealerships.